<sighs> What's good, everybody? I bet you're wondering where I've been. Probably not. But um, another video, another random injury. Okay. Ooh. That's right. I'm injured again. Now, what injury do I have this time? I tore my left bicep, partially tore. Now, it's not a full tear. I wonder if you can see it. It looks like it's probably gone down by a lot. I actually did this a couple weeks ago. How'd you do it, Sean? By doing something that doesn't even fucking matter. Ooh. And that's usually how these things go, right? So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, I tore my bicep doing the Thor's Hammer Challenge. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Thor's Hammer Challenge, it's where you take a barbell, like a, like a 45 pound Olympic lift barbell, and you grab it by one of the ends that you load the weight on. And you can't grab the, the, um, the actual bar where you would lift with. You have to grab the side, what am I doing? What, um, pause. Um, you have to grab the side that you would load the weight on. You have to hold it uh, vertically in front of you. Now it's gonna be laying on the ground. You have to pick it up straight into the air so that the bar is facing this way and then you, uh, you have to lift it like this. Um, now it's okay to do that once, but I had a meeting at work and I did it multiple times. I would say probably like six or seven times after doing a workout prior to the meeting. Back and biceps, baby. So, you know, in the in this relay race, I ended up doing that a few times, and by the, when it was actually my turn, which is so fucking funny, when it's actually my turn to do it, tear, and it felt like um, a Ziploc bag. It felt like, you know the Ziplocs that got the red on top? Like the red little, little thing, you, the easy glide joints. It felt like that on my bicep. Obviously, I haven't been able to lift in forever. Look at me. I still got a little something, something, but like, you know, it's not nearly to where, not nearly where I want to be right now. That shit was crazy. And then when it happened, right, I felt it. And I even, I even audibly said, I said, I, I think I tore my bicep. And I didn't want to look at it. I did not want to look at it because I would have threw up for real. I just said, Burr. I immediately put the barbell down and I walked to the back of the room and I was sitting there. And I think one of my one of my coworkers heard me. He was like, nah, you would have, he was like, you would have known if you tore your bicep because you'd have felt it. And I said, oh, I felt something. I felt something. So I go to the back of the room and um he comes over and he's like, let me see. So I take off, I had a shirt, I pull, I pull my shirt up like this and you could see it was like a lump. It was, it, it, this piece right here had come down and it was fat like that. It was huge. And he was like, yeah, yeah, you definitely did something. And I looked down at it. Y'all ever, listen, y'all ever, it, it's so funny. It's kind of like when you get a cut and you don't, you don't feel the pain and you don't know that you have this cut until you look at it and then it hurts, right? So I, I look down at it, I go, huh? Boy, I got dizzy, I said, hold up. Mm. I was like, damn, so I had to sit down. And then, so they brought me ice and everything and I put the ice on my damn arm. And, uh, it went, the swelling went down for a little bit, but I already had a pump from doing back and biceps prior. So I, it didn't go down too much. The, the little lump went down. However, I I have a back, like my backpack, I bring my backpack with me to work. I pick up my backpack like a fucking idiot. But you know, I'm not used to not using my arm at all. So I picked up my backpack, threw it over my shoulder, and that bit swelled up again. So later that night, I put some BioFreeze on it. I didn't think it was gonna do anything, but I did that just to kind of, and to do something, I, that's all I could do. I iced it, put some biofreeze on it. That night, I was sleeping, right? And um, I slept normal like I normally do because I'm not. 
Sorry, I had caffeine today. I'm not used to not doing anything with my arm. So I'm laying down in the bed and, and I'm asleep. I go to sleep, I, do, I, not, I nod off. And I wake up at like four in the morning. My fucking arm, numb than a bitch. Like, I'm, that shit was crazy. I'm throwing it all around like fucking, and um, and that that right there scared me. I was like, shit, dude. Like, this arm might have to come off. My arm might have to come off, Sean. Shit. Nah. So I, I ended up sleeping like this. I put my arm up like this. Fell asleep, and the circulation came back because it was at heart level. So long story short, that shit fucked up. Now. I went to the clinic next to my job and the woman had diagnosed it as a partial tear and she said you're, it, that it would only take a couple of weeks to heal. It's been three weeks, my guy, and I still can't lift. I mean, I, you know, I try to do a little something, something, like I'm doing small presses if I'm doing chest, trying not to overextend the arm to activate that bicep. See, I'm trying to see the difference, is it? I mean, it's healed a lot. Also, y'all, please don't come for me for the farmer's tan. I can't get rid of it, man. Living in Florida, like, you can go, like, outside, but then the moment you wear a shirt, all that progress you done did is gone. Gone. Anyway, I just wanted i wanted to know, and I did. Here's, a, here's another thing that I did that was wrong. Don't ever go on the internet looking up how to do like like how to heal from something all i fucking found was multiple videos of dudes tearing their bicep do you know how uncomfortable that is to watch these damn videos of dudes biceps rolling up like some blinds on like on, on a sunday afternoon when the sun is out fucking the shit is crazy that bit said <laughs> I was like, oh my god the whole body just entangles i could not fucking watch that shit man then i seen one dude who was Preacher curling, 135 pounds, dude, probably about as big as me. I'm not saying I'm not strong, but that dude, uh, you had no business. You had no business doing that. He's over the preacher curl ball. We're talking about pop. That his shit was like both of them. You have no arms now, bro. You're in a double sling like this. Luckily, mine doesn't require surgery. Um, that was one thing I was afraid of is I might have to go under the knife just to fix the torn bicep. And that would have been ridiculous for me. Like, you know, when Ryan Crawley broke his chest, like that's, that requires surgery. But for, a, you know, look, so what the woman had said, I'm sorry, I went on this tangent, but what the, so you can see it right there. But what the woman said was, all the insertion points are still there. All of them are still there. So apparently it's in the belly of the muscle. Which, you know, you see your bicep. It's probably like somewhere right here, some minor tear. But heal, man, I'm trying to get back in there. You can only do legs so many times. And I can't even squat because my arm, well, at least last week, my arm was in this position where the bicep is slightly engaged and apparently I'm doing a bunch of micro tears and shit. Bro, like, let me get back out there, fam. I'm trying to work out. I ain't trying to be this this no more, man. I'm trying to be back to old school Sean where he, you know, he was big and shit and he had muscles and he, testosterone was just a flowing. And, you know, I was looking like, you know, uh, like the, the actual black Captain America. No offense to Anthony Mackie, but come on, man. You know, I was looking good, I, you know, I want to get back out there. So for anybody who does have a partial bicep tear, all right, now I don't know what happens for a full proximal or full distal bicep tear, but a partial bicep tear, um, my suggestion to you is take your anti-inflammatories, rest, you definitely need to rest, and I think um, what I've had to learn is don't beat yourself up. Yeah, shit happens, man. I'm 31 years old. It's about that time that my body is like, hey, bro. Remember all that shit you was doing when you was 19 and shit? Mm, not gonna fly. Not gonna fly. So, um, 
I just have to understand that my body is completely different now. You know, I'm still young, but I'm not that fucking young. So I just have to understand that. Don't beat myself up for not being able to do what I used to be able to do. Now moving forward, these next few weeks, obviously I think is, is rehab. So I gotta start doing small movements. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've got a long journey to get back to where I was and then an even longer journey to surpass that, which I was on the road to doing and right before this shit happened. It's crazy, isn't it? But it is what it is. I hope this video may have helped somebody or entertained you. I mean, it might, you know, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know everything, but I'm just giving my experience. So hopefully you were entertained with my stupidity and hopefully somebody out there maybe going through the same thing that I'm going through that doesn't have as much knowledge as I do. As you know, as little knowledge as I have about something like this, that person might not have as much. So um, with that being said, if you enjoyed it, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. I got a couple things cooking in the works. I've been gone for a minute, but it's, you know, obviously I can't do a whole lot. So I've been filming and I'm, you know, cutting them up. So I'll be put, putting stuff out to you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for listening and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.